welcome everyone Evie here today I want to talk to you about a fragrance which I blind bought and I think it's great I want to share this I want to share my opinion with you I think that we can all agree that when we are talking about car brand fragrances the house of Mercedes-Benz and Bentley are in the leading positions and I blind bought the following fragrance because of its name the brand and because it was created by Alberto Morillas. The fragrance I want to show you and talk about today is Addictive Oriental by Mercedes-Benz. Now in this line Mercedes-Benz is working together with big master perfumers such as Alberto Morillas or Oliver Cresp into creating these kind of fragrances. I do not know about the rest but this one I do like. Let's first Take a quick glance at the bottle. It's purple, it feels nice in the hand, it's a bit heavy, so is the cap, it's of a high quality, heavy sprayer, works great as well. But what about the juice, right? Is this in the same genre as we are used to when we are smelling fragrances created by Alberto Morillas? Addictive Oriental, it is an oriental fragrance, but he managed to make it smell different from the usual oriental affordable oriental fragrances coming from the middle east but it does have the signature of alberto Morillas. okay so this starts off a bit sharp because it's very spicy very peppery but it also has a minty freshness to it minty powderiness freshness which reminds me of Versace Eros. But the fragrances also has some citrusy freshness in it, which creates, like I said, that signature of Alberto Morillas. They are blended with the rest of the composition as we are used to smelling in a fragrance created by him. But other than that, I think this is different from what I've smelled from him. In the dry down, the sharpness of the fragrance kind of fades away because we are getting notes of tanka bean, we are getting some uh, sandalwood, which are smoothening up the fragrance. But also the fragrance has a very manly effect. I think it's mostly coming from the lavender, a spicy freshness, but also very manly. And it gives the fragrance a smell which you can easily mistake for an old school smell, but it's a mature smell. I think that overall this is an easy to go with scent like we are used to with the creations of Alberto Morillas. He usually creates safe scents, well, except for Gucci Guilty Absolute, but in general he does create like fresh spicy fragrances. Projection is moderate, the longevity is very good and while it lasts it does give me whiffs of the fragrance from time to time. So if I had to say numbers, I, I would say that on skin it lasts around six to seven hours, but on clothes it goes beyond 10 to 12. And for the price, like I said, this is a cheapy. This usually goes for below 20 pounds here in UK. And at discounters, you can pick this up for even below 10 pounds, like I did. I bought this for eight pounds, 50 mil size. This is an eau de toilette, but like I said, it has a nice performance. So again, for eight pounds, this is a great fragrance. Roberto Morias for eight pounds. You're probably asking yourself again, where do you find these fragrances at such great price? Guys, when you're passionate about fragrances and when you do a lot of research, it's not so hard to find these hidden gems at this price. And that was it guys, this was my take on Addictive Oriental by Mercedes-Benz and what do you think about the others? Are they worth blind buying? Leave a comment below and until the next video, keep smelling great.